What's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use an original Dreamcast controller using a Dreamcast to USB adapter. So as usual you want to exit Hyperspin either by going to the toolkit and selecting exit to Windows or if you don't have the toolkit you can simply do control shift escape on the keyboard and you're going to select Hyperspin and task. You're going to have a black background so do, you do a new task Type in Explorer, if it already says so, hit OK. All right, that's gonna load the background that you see here. All right, so first thing to know is you're gonna wanna get this adapter here. So you're gonna go to uh, rafnet.tech.com. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description uh, that takes you directly to this page with this particular adapter. And this is basically what it looks like. And uh, I know it's a little bit pricey. It's uh, $34 just for the adapter but I found that this is the one that works best. There's a, there's a Mayflash one, but that one does not work as well as this one. So it's definitely worth it to get this one here. Okay, so that's the adapter. You're, you plug that in directly to your controller and then you plug in the controller to your PC. And you're gonna see on the bottom right corner, you're gonna get a notification that says that the adapter was installed successfully. Okay, once you do that, if you purchased a system from me after the date that this uh, video was published. I'm gonna show you what to do first, and for those of you who purchased one prior to this video, I'm gonna show you what to do after. So again, if you purchased it after this video was published, all you have to do is after you plug in your controller, you're gonna to go to Rocket Launcher. Okay, and then you're gonna type in Dream up here in the search to single out Dreamcast. And then you're gonna go to the emulators tab up here and you're gonna hit the magnifying glass right here. Type in null DC, which is null is fine. And select the one that says null DC, DC controller, double click. And that is all you have to do. Now, one thing to note is that you're gonna want to turn off your Xbox controller because if your Xbox 360 or Xbox One controllers are plugged in and turned on, the uh, you're not going to be able to control the, uh, the emulator with, the, uh, with either controller actually with the Xbox or the Dreamcast. So make sure that your Xbox controller is turned off. Once you do that, if you want to test it, you can go over to the Games tab here and hit this icon all the way to the left here and just choose a game. I'm gonna choose Slave Zero and go ahead and start the game. Okay, I'm just gonna wait to get to the menu. And ignore the uh, the taskbar at the bottom there, this is only showing up because I'm in Windows at the moment. You're not going to see any of that or the desktop at all when it starts like you just did here. Okay, so you can see that I'm moving around the selection there with the D-pad. And at this point, the controller is working and that's all you have to do if you purchased a system after this video was published. Now to exit on the Dreamcast controller, you're going to press start, you're going to hold start and you're going to press um, left on the D-pad or the joystick, and that kicks you back out. Now, you're not going to be able to control Hyperspin when you first plug in your controller, or if it's plugged in when you first start Hyperspin. You have to start a Dreamcast game, and once you quit the Dreamcast game, then you will be able to use the controller to control Hyperspin, okay? So that is basically it, guys. Um, that's all you have to do now. For those of you that purchased the system prior to this video, let me show you what to do. So once you exit Hyperspin and you plug in the controller, you're gonna wanna go to this yellow folder next to the start menu here. And you're going to go to the emulators tab and you're going to look for null DC. So right there, double click and double click this null DC executable right here. If this pops up, just hit OK. That doesn't matter. All right, so go to Options, Maple, Port A, and go to Config Keys for Player 1. And it's pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory once you're here. Now, you're going to want to go over here to the drop-down menu and select Dreamcast to USB. 
okay, should be the only thing there if that's the only controller you have plugged in. And over here under controller type, it should say joystick SDL. You don't want joystick X input or keyboard. You want joystick SDL. So just make sure those two options are selected. And for this adapter, the uh, dead zone is recommended at 1%. So you can change the dead zone to 1%. Once you do that, all you have to do is you click on each of these buttons here, each of these inputs, followed by the actual button on the controller itself. So you click left trigger and you squeeze left trigger on the controller. Right trigger, you squeeze right trigger. So just go through all of these right here and that is all you have to do. Once that is done, if you have a second controller, go to controller two and do the same thing. Select Dreamcast to USB. At that point, it should be two of them. So you actually, you obviously want to select the second one. Um, same thing here, joystick SDL, set the dead zone to 1% and just go ahead and assign all the inputs here. Once you're done, you're going to hit OK. I'm not going to do that right now. And then you can just close all of that out and you can go into rocket launcher and do the same thing. You don't have to do the emulator part, okay? You just have to, if you're gonna test it, just go to games and select the game and start it. Now for you guys, the controller is not going to work to select the games in Hyperspin at all. So if you have an XRK joystick or an extension joystick or um, a keyboard, you're gonna wanna use those to select the games and then once you're in the game, you can go ahead and use the Dreamcast controller, okay? And if you want full functionality, like the, um, um, you know, like for systems that were sent out after this video, just get in touch with me and uh, I'll get your, uh, your drive updated. You can just send it in. Um, and that way you'll have this update plus the updates for all the other controllers that I've added recently. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.